Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm going to be answering a comment question that I got and I thought it was quite interesting and instead of writing out a whole bunch of a reply, I thought I would uh, pull these two units out, let you take a look at them, and I'm going to comment about what's unique about this BC, and this BC happens to be the Aqualung Dimension, and this BC happens to be the Cressy Commander. Now, I've done BC um, reviews or BC lookouts over the past few months on, on these two different BCs, but I thought it was quite unique the way this question was asked by Oscar about which one of these I would pick. And of course, it's not necessarily about what I would pick, it's about what you would pick on the particulars of a given BC. So let's take a look at them. Now, when we take a look at these two BCs, and these are both mediums, this particular Aqualung, it it looks a little bit bigger than the Commander does. And again, they're both the same size. Now, when I put my hands on the two BCs and I'm feeling the materials, just the general feel of the materials, um, it, for some reason, the Commander feels lighter uh, and a little smoother as far as the denier of the material goes and the Aqualung feels a little bit more, uh, a little bit rougher, let's call it. And it's one of those things where, you know, a, a tactile feel, it tends to mean a lot to people. The interesting thing about it, even though this BC looks bigger than this BC, the Commander, the Commander is actually heavier by a half pound than the Dimension. And I was shocked when I put them on the scale. Now, I'm gonna walk down through each of these and talk about the particulars, like I said before, and let's see what you think about them. All right, so I'm gonna stop, start up here on the top, and one of the things, again, I'm talking not versus, but unique to the Commander, is that the Commander has these four D-rings up here uh, that we're not necessarily going to see over here on the Dimension. Now, the right shoulder dump string, and again, you guys all know how big I am on right shoulder dumps, but the right shoulder string is exposed, whereas it's different on the Dimension. We're going to look at the chest strap. Now, when we see the chest strap, its location, it can be fitted here and it can be moved up. So it's an adjustable chest strap. When we look here at the shoulder adjusters and the shoulder releases, one of the things you're going to notice is this is pretty much a standard style quick release. And when I put my hands down here on these D-rings, and feel the D-rings, these D-rings are a little, um, a little slimmer, a little trimmer, and um, not quite as uh, sturdy as I would think they should be. And of course, back here, we've got this really lightweight uh, back pad, and inside here, if I feel right here at the top, right at the top, there's a handle on the plastic back pad that's in here and it extends all the way down here to the bottom of this pad. And I have a feeling that's what tends to make this unit a little bit heavier than say the dimension. When we look down here, and of course if you uh, take a look at the video that I did on the Commander, you'll notice that the Commander has full open zippered pockets here. And of course we've got integrated weight system, which is really nice. And of course we've got a cummerbund system in here. And of course our belly buckle. When we look down here, we've got a really nice inflator. It's relatively long. And the uh, inflator deflator is relatively compact for smaller hands. So that would be a big draw for 
a lot of folks as far as that's concerned. Now D-rings, we've got two D-rings right here that are kind of positioned on top of the pocket. And then underneath here, we've got a D-ring under here on both sides. And there's also a D-ring that to me would be extremely handy. So I really like that. Now I'm gonna wait to turn it around. Now let's take a quick look at the dimension. So again, we're gonna start up here at the collar. This has kind of a rolled uh, neoprene type of collar on it. So this would be extremely comfortable. We come down on this right shoulder, we're gonna see our right pull dump and the string is completely enclosed and that could be an advantage and it could be a disadvantage if it broke and then you've got to try to rethread that. Would it be impossible? No. And we've got two big D-rings here and these D-rings are pre-bent. Very nice. Do you really need four? I don't know. Maybe you do. And we come down. Here's our chest strap. Our chest strap is kind of unique because the chest strap has got some elasticity to it. It is not adjustable. For some of you, it's not a big deal. And of course, here's our quick release. And the quick release on the Aqualungs are push button and not the pinch style like what we sell over there. And because they're push button, these have a certain amount of swivel to them, which I think would add to the comfort of the dimension. Now we come on down, the dimension has what Aqualung calls their try to get this strap out of the way, uh, what they call their rapture system. So there's not really a cummerbund in here, but this whole thing acts as a cummerbund. Now when we come down here, we've got our tightening system on the belly buckle area, and this is similar to the axiom that you just pull forward, you don't pull to the side like you do on this one and many other BCs out there. We have uh, something that's kind of unusual. We have a octo pocket. That's where you would take the octo and slide it, fold the hose, slide it right in here, which I think could be an advantage. Over here on this side, we've got a gear holder and we've also got the grommets to mount a, uh, a small knife to the BC right here. Now, as we saw the pockets, the full zippered pockets on the uh, Commander, over here on the Dimension, what we have is a hidden fold-down style pocket, and the bottom of it has got some mesh so that it would drain real easy. So this pocket is deployable if you need it and it's hidden if you don't. And of course, we've got our integrated weight pockets in here. Down here on the bottom, we've got a D-ring. Now these D-rings are a little further forward, which in my opinion would be an advantage versus being directly in the middle. To me, if I'm in the neutral buoyancy position, having a D-ring slightly forward could be an advantage. Now, when uh, we look Back here in the back, there is a nice pad, but the back plate in this unit actually ends right here. So it goes from about here to here, and this BC will, and, and actually this BC will fold in half. So would that be an advantage in packing? Yes. Okay, back here on the back, on the Commander, we've got a, like I said before, we've got a right shoulder pull dump. And of course, this is a left shoulder pull dump. The Commander comes with a new rubber inflator hose. Here's your valve strap here. And of course, your nice uh, back pad that uh, secures your tank and such. Now, both of these units have trim pockets. Again, you know how I feel about trim pockets. But one of the things I am going to note is the fact that this trim pocket, and it will hold five. I put a hard five in here 
uh, a little while ago before I started the video. And of course, we've got a plastic cam tank strap here. And down here to the inside, we've also got a butt dump. So that's the commander from the back. Now, over here on the dimension, now this valve strap has a quick release on it which for me is very handy, especially in changing tanks and such. Right shoulder dump, left shoulder dump on this one also. Your standard plastic cam style tank strap and two uh, trim pockets back here. And these trim pockets are definitely a heavier style material. And down here on the outside is the butt dump on the dimension. All right, so that's a quick comparison of the Dimension and the Commander. And it's up to you which one would be more attractive and more uh, useful to you, more beneficial. Price-wise, they're within just a few dollars, not hundreds of dollars, but just a few dollars of each other. And one of the things I didn't mention real quick was the inflator on the Aqualung it's not as compact as the one on the Cressy, but for me, in my hand, this is a little bit more, I'm gonna call it defined in the way it feels in the hand with a deflate and then a rubberized grip on here. I'll try to get a little close up, rubberized grip and my inflate button. So again, if you're new here, reach down and hit that subscribe button. Love for you to be one of our subscribers. I'm going to continue doing some of these comparison videos. Hope you enjoy them. If you dive either one of these units and Oscar, let me know which one you end up deciding. And for me, it would be kind of a toss up. I'm a kind of an Aqualung guy, but you know, this Cressy Commander's got a lot of comfort features. And of course, I love the zippered pockets on this versus necessarily the fold down pockets on this one. So again, it's up to you, depending on your style of diving and which one you're attracted to. I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. And as I always say, dive safe out there. Thanks for watching.